Hey everyone, it's me, VB, and welcome back to another awesome Pokemon TCG opening video. Today, we have the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Box. Yeah, of course, if you're new to the channel, then I guess I should have said, welcome to the Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box opening. Alright, so let's get this thing cracking. And today we're going to be using the Ultra Pro uh, card sleeve, so clear. And uh, I also wanted to show you guys the code cards that you could possibly get in uh, this set as well. If you get a green code card like this, then you're probably not going to get uh, anything as much as uh, rar rarity-wise for Ultra Rares or Hollows or anything like that. But you may get a chance to get a Reverse Foil version of a Hollow Rare card. And if you get a white code card like this... Then, you'll get a Hollow Rare or better. It could be an Ultra, it could be a Secret. Well, let me tell you, it will be good. Alright. So now let's get into this. Uh, and for those of you that are wondering, what in the world is this thing? Well, I'm going to show you. But first, I got to crack open this uh, plastic. Alright, let's do it this way. There we go. Oh, sorry, knock the camera. I tend to do that from time. <laughs> Alright, so now we got got it with the plastic wrap off. Let me show you the back real quick. If you want to read that, you can. And maybe I'll get you a close-up. Uh, just like that. Alright, so we're going to slide this out. And first of all, if you uh, peek inside of here just a little bit, you'll see the pack art. Uh, this becomes a cool looking mini poster. So if you detach uh, the uh, cardboard paper here, open up just like so. There you go. There's your poster. Again, sorry for whacking the camera. Alright, I think that's a pretty neat idea. Next, we get this cool looking player's guide. They'll tell you all about the new cards. Uh, that are featured in the set. Oh, and we also get a little advertisement here for uh, the Pokemon Center. I have shopped there before. So it's pretty cool. I got my uh, Super Premium Collection Box featuring Ho-Oh from uh, the Pokemon Center. So there's a website if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Uh, they got all sorts of cool Pokemon related items including uh, not just cards, but also Pikachu plush toys and clothing and all sorts of stuff. Uh, so yeah, so here's a look at some of the new cards that this booklet uh, will tell you about. And card combos that you can do. Some of the trainers and all sorts of cool stuff. And in the back here, you'll find a checklist uh, for the uh, uh, base set itself for Crimson Invasion. doesn't have any of the promo cards that... Uh, just uh, the regular set. But if you go all the way back, that's where you find the full arts and the secret rares. Uh, right here. And on the page right behind that, that's where you find the secret rares. So, yeah, it's a cool looking image here, too. So, I may want to use that uh, for uh, probably like a thumbnail. So, I'm just going to hold on just like that. And good. Alright, so, next thing, I'm going to pop open this. Uh, this is a nifty storage unit that you could use. And here is the uh, code card, the specific uh, for this box. So this will unlock some sleeves and uh, for your uh, Pokemon Online, uh, TCG Online, let's say, for your playable deck. Uh, and the, the Pokemon featured on the... This uh, set, this particular Elite Trainer Box, there's only one, and it's so Valley. So here's the code. If you guys want to grab the sleeves for yourselves, you can, but I'd like to ask you folks, uh, only one code per person, please. If you're able to get a code, then please uh, write it down, but please don't take any more than just one code. I like to, get, I like to have everybody get a chance to get a code here. Yes, that's the way that I am. I like to be a fair guy. You also get eight packs uh, of the set. 
right here. I think we're missing one. We'll get to, yeah, it's underneath uh, all the other stuff. So we'll get to it in just a second. We also have some cool sleeves, about 65 of them. So if you want to put your whole Pokemon deck inside these sleeves, you can. You get a pack of energy. At least five of every single type of energy. So I'm not going to open this because it's just energy cards. And you do get energy cards in the, each booster pack. So even though it said you get 10 additional booster packs, uh, uh, booster cards in this pack, in these packs, uh, you only get, uh, you actually get 11. So here's our 8th pack. I'm just stumbling across my words today, aren't I? <laughs> so you have some cool card dividers. So if you want to use the storage box uh, for your decks, so you can use these dividers. And here's the other side. And here, you get some acrylic markers. These are your burn markers and your poison marker. And this uh, will give you, this will let you know that your Pokemon has been burned or poisoned. And the big guy behind them is a brand new sweet looking GX marker. Because this set has the GX cards that were first introduced in Sun and Moon Base. Those GX cards are special cards. They have a third attack to them, but you can only use that attack once during the game. And once you use that attack, you can't use that or any other Pokemon GX's GX attack for the rest of the game. So, you need this marker to let you and your opponent know that your GX attack has been used for that game. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of all this. So you also get some a pack of dice. Uh, the big one is a coin flip die, and the smaller ones are damage dice, but you can also use these in any other TCG that requires uh, dice rolls as well, such as a Yu-Gi-Oh! or Card 5 Vanguard. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of all of this cardboard. And I'm actually gonna show you guys uh, this way, so you can close it up just like this. And easily slides in. You see it has a uh, kind of like a pointy bottom versus some of the other ones that have just a thumb hole in it. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the sides here real quick. And there you go. So I'm going to pop it back open so we can get cracking into these packs. Uh, and if you enjoyed today's video then please make sure to leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm going to take all this stuff out, put it back, put it back in, just like so, take that, don't need these anymore, by the way, that booklet is pretty cool to read too, like if you're in the bathroom or if you're waiting for a dentist appointment, a doctor's appointment, you can just bring that along and just read along, alright, there we go, so we have eight packs, oh, yeah, get the dice, and here are all the four pack cards right here. You get the uh, Buzzwool, Silvalli, Cartana, and Guzzlord. So I think I will get the knife out of here too. So just like that. And you go over that way. Okay. So we're going to start things off by doing the Buzzwool packs. And I heard that this set does have some pretty tough pulls. Uh, so the pull ratios are not too good. So here's the code card. But the uh, ultras in this set are pretty good. There's four from the back to the front. That's the trick because this fourth one right here, that's your energy card. So I'm going to lay that on top off screen. So here we go with a Chinchino. Follow that up by his wireless. Uh, pile of swine, or pillow swine. Now this is your uh, swine up evolution for uh, Pokemon Go. By the way, I have been playing that. I got all the uh, new Halloween Pokemon. Maybe I can show that to you in a future video. Magic Carp with this cool looking artwork. 
Just trying to jump and get away from that the magic car that looks like it's been driven by Team Rocket. We have an execute. Keybone. Here's a Mankey. Looks like he's standing by uh, Yellowstone there. Yellowstone Geyser. Yeah, that or he just punched it. He wants to punch us. Solandit, a psychic version. When this was card was first released, I believe Solandit was a fire. Another Solandit, this time in reverse holo form. And our final card is a camera up to. Alright, so I'm gonna put rares right there. I'm gonna put the rest of the cards here. I got the uh, Philandit Reverse Hollow on the left, uh, off screen. There comes our last Buzzwool. Uh, Buzzwool pack. Oh, and here is a. Oh, that was a white go guard for just a second with just the other side. Alright. Get that. One, two, three, put the energy up here. Here we go. Fighting memory for the new... Ooh, I do see some shiny. For the new uh, Silvalli GX cards. Uh, there's fighting, and I think there's psychic memory in this set. We got a counter catcher. I think that's in secret rare form in this set, too. Here's Hakoma O. Awesome. And Como is also in the set, but he's not a hollow rare. We got Cubone. And I will get to that get to that shiny card. And I was trying to peek out. So land it. Our third one of the opening. Phoebus. And here's a Carablast. Jangmo O. So we got uh, Stage 1 and we got Basic in the set. Reverse Foils, a Wiggly Top. That's a rare. And it looks all really mad because I think Weedle did something. You know, this Weedle shock in the background. And our final card is an Alolan Executor GX. Uh, very cool. Alright, so I'll sleeve that one up in just a second. There we go. Now let's go on to the Guzzlord packs. Uh, and my battery uh, might be running out uh, pretty soon. I might need to switch it during uh, this uh, video. Oh, another white code card. So here we go. So here's the code. Now let's see what we get this time. One, two, three. Put the energy up here. We got a devoured field. Followed by a woven graveler. Here's Centino. Spoink. Carablast. Final B. And we have Chai Mecco. First appearance of him for a while. And the next card is a Numo. The reverse foil this time. 
There's another Solandit. That's our second one. I guess Solandit really likes me in this set. And we have a Hollow Xerneas. Very nice. Uh, I'll sleeve that one up on my own time. Alright. Next Guzzlord pack here. Alright, there we go. Lusamine, also in full art form in this set. And a Selgor. Counter Energy. Jigglypuff, always cool. It's cool to see him. I like Jigglypuff. Uh, his sleeping, though, tends to put people, or his singing tends to put people to sleep. But we have Swine Up. Here's Swablu. There's Shelmet. And we got Mischievous, one of the Pokemon released uh, for Halloween, I believe, uh, for Pokemon Go. Here's Reverse Mammal Swine, that's a rare. And we have a Reggie Gigas Hollow. Alright, there we go. Two Hollow Legendaries and a Lowing Executor GX so far. We're about halfway through. Now on to the Katana Packs. Uh, and this one's a green code card. Oh, the sun just went behind the clouds, so hopefully you guys can still see this. So maybe I'll go through this pack a little bit faster. Alright. Here we go with a dashing pouch. Follow that up by a Kakuna. If I can say it right, Kakuna. We have Star Arabia flying right by the Altar of the Sun. I think that was released. Uh, not too recently, it was either Guardians Rising or Burning Shadows. Uh, you let me know in the comments. Uh, we have another Chai Mecco. And here's a Mischievous. And we go a little bit faster now. We got Stuffle! Cute little picture. Here's a Phoebus. And Jang Mo O. Reverse foil this time. This is a Lazzle. That's a rare. I believe it's a hollow rare too. And we have a Regirock. Non hollow rare. I think Reg Ice and Reggie Gigas got the hollow version. Got the hollows. And Regirock and Reggie Steel just got regular rare. So maybe Pokemon will be fair during the next set. And give Reg Ice and or Reg Reggie Rock and uh, Reggie Steel hollows. Uh. There we go. All right, one, two, three. This one goes up here. Yeah, another Lusamine. I think it's just a regular rare this time. And there's a Grumpig. Formerly a rare, now downgraded to an uncommon in this set. And we got Nimolga. And Corvish. Here's Mentino. 
Look at that happy he looks. Uh, Weedo. It's been a while since we saw Weedo on a set. Uh, here's Cubone. Of course, uh, to me it's always cool to see Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, that's the uh, Pokemon uh, generation I grew up at. Uh, so land it. Another one of him. The reverse foil is another Mentino. And we have a Cacturn as our regular rare. Alright. Two packs left. Oh, I knocked down my cards. Both of them, so Valley. See if the Savior can bring us something. We have another dashing pouch. Uh, and there you seen that. Follow that up with a Mawile. Lay run. And here's an air run. So we went from basic to stage one there. Here's Ghastly. Corefish. Mentino. Here's a Weedle. The reverse foil this time. is an Execute, so go along with our Alolan, Alolan Executor. And we have a regular rare wiggly tough that's really mad. Yeah, I think that Weedle made it really mad for some reason. Last pack, what can we pull? It's a green code card, so not much this time around, but looks like something got a little dinged up there. Oh, my battery has just run out, so... Hey, sorry about that, folks. Uh, we can... We have to deal with batteries. You gotta deal with them. Alright, so this last pack is not gonna have anything, I'm afraid. Uh, it's gonna be a star you. There's an Aeron. Remoraid. Alolan Geodude. I don't think I did a pack trick, but that's okay. And a Dino. And our reverse foil is... Another Remoraid. And this time, my regular rare is a Mammal Swine. Alright. There's our Water Energy. Peaky Red Card, Milk Tank, and a Como O. As our... Three uncommons. Uh, so, I'm gonna pick out the some of the cool uh, common and uncommon cards that we managed to pull. So, let's hang on just a second. This one, I think, was basically a, just a basic average uh, uh, ETB. It wasn't uh, all too, too crazy. But still, though, we got a couple of hollows. Uh, hollow legendaries. Those are always awesome. And we also got a couple of... Uh, yes, actually, before I finish that sentence, I'm going to say we got the Jigglypuff. Oh, it's cool. And a couple of uh, Lusamines. Right here. We did get a few uh, 
reverse hollow rares. Uh, at least a couple of them. We got two Solandits. Uh, reverse hollow rare. And we got a Salazzle and a Wigglytuff. Uh, for our reverse hollow rares, the two Solandits were reverse hollow commons, but we got two of them. And Slazzle and Wigglytuff there. And now we got two hollows. Hollow Regigigas. And a hollow Xerneas. Both legendaries, both cool. And uh, we got one ultra rare. And that was this guy. Alolan Executor GX. Uh, and I wanted to mention, if you pull an Ultra Beast in this pack, they could be game changers. Uh, so hopefully I'll get a chance to talk more about them if I pull them in future openings, which I will be doing. But for now, that's going to wrap things up. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos. And I'll have different uh, playlists uh, that you can check out of vid other uh, videos that I have made on my channel. So definitely, I think actually you should go check them out. <laughs> Alright, I am DB, and I'll catch y'all next time. Goodbye for now. Hey everyone, it's me, DB, and I hope you guys just like this recent Pokemon opening video that I just did. And uh, I wanted to mention a couple of things that I didn't get a chance to mention in the video. First of all, I'm going to be doing a series in Yu-Gi-Oh! where I'm going to be teaching you how to duel. So that's right, so expect that series to come out uh, maybe sometime next week uh, because I'm thinking about op doing openings uh, every other week. Uh, yeah, I usually like to do it every week. And I actually buy these products with my own money. I don't have any sponsors. I don't have enough subscribers to get a sponsor just yet. But I think that I'm going to move those openings to every two weeks now. And during that the off week, uh, I'll be doing another cool video like a DB Cooks episode. Or maybe perhaps uh, the uh, series on dueling that I had just mentioned. And don't forget to check out my Super Mario Odyssey playthrough going on right now on both this channel and my video game channel, DB Plays. And, uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye!